Being rich in The Witcher is one of the most crucial things you want to do in The Witcher because, hey, why are we a Witcher? Because to earn money. No, of course not. We are monster hunters and keeping the humans safe, or are we not? I'm sure most of you guys have wondered how to become rich in The Witcher and let's see how we can do that. Stay tuned. What's up, guys? My name is Frankie Boy. On this channel, I will be covering everything regarding open world RPGs such as The Witcher 3, Hogwarts Legacy, Assassin's Creed, and even more awesome games so just get into the game and let's find out how to become a richer three I'm currently low at money well but that's no problem we can actually easily change that and don't worry about my inventory wait it's a mod I used check out my top five mods for next gen video to see how I did that and I mean most of the time you can just say play the game loot everything and uh, yeah go your way and then you will become rich eventually but that's not the truth to be honest you have to be really grindy to just play the game to become rich you have to like get every monster nest every hidden treasure everything to do so and so i got two farm spots for you guys which you can do one right after starting the game and the second one at the end game in the tucson dlc and i would totally recommend that second one to do right before starting new game plus because that's my most favorite farm spot ever in the witcher so the first one is the classic cow farm you can see i'm here at martin foy's farmstead and this is northern from where we start let's remove all these signs this is the hanged man's tree and you can see we are here at this farmstead right there and as we arrive here we can see some cows and if you don't well you wa might want to meditate to let them appear and the farm spot is so easy just kill these guys with igni as fast as you can use the spell of choice to do so i will recommend igni if you can't kill them that fast with igni well you might use some killing blows with your sword that's also a possibility and uh, you might have the mod auto loot which will actually be triggered when you hit with your sword so that could be an improvement over timing i guess for some of you guys and what are we doing right here we are actually just killing these cows you might not want to loot them right away you can just meditate and let one hour pass and do the same thing over and over again as you can see the whole Meadow is full of them again and we can continue our journey through all these cows so recommend when you use auto loot you might want to use your sword blow but Igni is like a multi-kill and this is the fastest way to kill them. Remember to use some potions to actually increase your stamina regeneration. This can be a little bit of an optimizer. And when you did so you might want to think what do I do with all this cowhide, all this milk? Of course you want to sell it and that's quite easy. Where do we sell this stuff? Of course in Novigrad is our preference. Let's get every symbol back and this shopkeeper right here he will take it but it's even better at the innkeepers because the they prefer something like food and leather and you can find one here, one here and one here. So these are the guys you would go to and sell your leather. And I think we should do that right now before we get to the really juicy farm spot. This is totally insane and will make you rich forever. Like I can go there and farm like 20k in some minutes. All right and there he is the innkeeper keeping the inn keeping us out and by the way of course there are some other methods to get rich like play Gwent every time you can and um, yes put all your money into these bets this might increase your uh, money as well these cow hides are found in the other section right here next to the quest items and you can just sell them until his budget is uh, out and that's always the problem that's why we have multiple of these shopkeepers but as you can see I, I farmed like 30 cow hides in some seconds that's quite nice but for endgame i got an awesome opportunity for you this one is for the new players that want to start out maybe buy a sword maybe one of the new swords at the top notch guy you can get new swords right there actually he's selling this witcher silver sword and also this witcher steel sword they are quite okayish but they are always leveled to your character's level so when you have kind of a gap between some items you might want to go there check this weapon out if it fills your gap and there you go but now to the juicy part except for this awesome sunset and i don't have even ray tracing turned on because 
my 3080 can't handle it. All right, so the first farm spot was quite easy to reach. You have to keep in mind that the cow boss will come. And for me, he's always spawning at Hosong Bridge in the White Orchard area. So keep that in mind. You might encounter him there because it's actually kind of a cheesy tactic. But we need to go to the Toussaint DLC and there we got like two awesome farm spots to farm our money. And my most favorite one is of course Mont Crane Castle. You find it eastern from the Corvo Bianco vineyard right here. And right now my game went down to 23 FPS. 17. Wow, this is awful. I don't know why the hell this happened. And even meditating couldn't help it. Maybe it depends on the daytime or the safe game. I'm not sure yet. And actually reloading my safe game helped me. For this farm spot I would recommend using one of my builds I recommended in the build video. Last time I used the freezing cold technique, the piercing cold art. This time I'm using the Toxicity Euphoria Whirlwind build. Just check out my top three builds in The Witcher 3 next gen and uh, then you can see how I build it in particular. Let's get these decoctions in first. Ikimara all the way. Water hack, of course. And we're almost ready to go. Let's get this Thunderbolt in, get the Maribor Forest in, and I think we can fit a Tawny. Yeah, let's be careful with that. And what we actually wanna do here is like run the way up to the hill with this bandit that is calling for help. Maybe get these archers down if you do not have like one of uh, the armors that actually deflect arrows and get up there and he will actually call to arms, call for help. We want to whirlwind ourselves through these guys and farm them. It's quite easy. You can easily do that. Uh, especially recommended is of course like increased range on whirl and rend on your weapon. I have it on my Erendite but sadly not on my Toussaint's Knight Steel Sword which is a pity for the sake of this video. I farmed this farm spot a lot and I farmed my way to level 100 and I also farmed like I don't know 400k crowns here uh, on level 100. Actually the weapons they drop you can't see them right now. That is why I actually removed my face cam from this spot where I auto loot all the stuff and you can see Beauclair Steel Swords. I farm them, I farm them, I farm them. All the way auto loot is my mod to go and yeah, increased range on the world is recommended to not be hit and yeah, hit these guys all the way and maybe deflect some arrows. This can definitely help you out, but will not make you the strongest uh, witcher in the whole game. Like, uh, yeah, use quit instead, I guess, and get this guy down too. So in order to reset this farm spot, I used to always meditate down at the bottom of the farm spot. But that is not the case anymore. You don't need to go out and meditate, but instead you would want to go right here go down this way and uh, there's a little tunnel leading you downwards to a portal. I will show you how it works. When you farm the farm spot you just go down here like just past these hunter dogs. They are getting on my nerves and we are going down like timber. Not Justin but like uh, timber of course. And there's the portal. Geralt hate, hates it but uh, he's actually in there. And uh, yeah we can rebuff like take our tawny, take our thunderbolt if we need to, Maribor forest etc and go back. And that's how it works. The farm spot is reset. We actually don't have to meditate. Our decoctions are still there. We don't need to save nothing. No meditation needed. And we're on the track again. It's working perfectly fine. And uh, they, the enemies actually saw us and uh, yeah, they will call for help. So the help is underway. Just make sure to run a viable build that you can kind of like brain deadly farm. I would totally recommend to not use one of the max damage builds, but maybe use some Grandmaster Earth sign to get a little bit of toughness back. That's always recommended if you like take a strike or so um, that fits the build as well and you don't deal that much of damage but yeah you can you can easily farm this spot for hours and hours and this is how it looks like with my erendite ah no Carol just switched it out again that's a pity and i will show you guys how much i farmed right now in a minute and you just saw i think these were like three runs i didn't take you here for the second one roms klatsch reingelatzt und umgeklatscht that's what we say in Germany, okay? No one does. I, I'm the only one. I don't know why, but I just love 
like farming here and I'm the guy playing action RPGs, looter shooters all day long like Diablo is one of my favorite franchises and that's why I might be sticking to farm spot and grinding them all day long. There's an alternative to this one by the way it's uh, the other Hanse base in the north of Toussaint as well uh, the Atar Palace ruins that's where you get the Toussaint's night steel sword so you might not have it available anymore when you have the recipe for your sword. Um, the problem with this one is don't finish the Hanse base. If you do so it's gone forever and uh, yeah just don't go up here don't kill the boss just stay in this area where I was with you guys we went up here that worked totally fine and where do we sell that we go to the city of course and we have some smiths where we want to sell it like from the Metina gate you can go up here you have this grandmaster smith he's number one then you have the blacksmith right here you have the armorer you could also sell it in the main game and at a place where you will anyways be as many times as you have to when you get a new set uh, here at the upper mill you can sell it right here also but for the sake of demonstration, the fastest way is like go back here. You will have your inventory full because you don't have a mod. I have like over 9000. As you can see, my mod video is totally recommended. Like top five mods for Witcher next gen. Go to the Metina gate and uh, yeah, just head your way into the city of Beauclair. And there we are. Look how beautiful it looks. And this guy, yeah, I sold some swords to him because uh, you will actually see how his inventory will be lagging right now. I did this for years on this save game. This is a very old save game I played to level 100 way back. I don't know when. Let me see what you got. Oh, crazy. It's not even loading. I sold all of these to him. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm right at 12k. Just go down all the way down. Maybe quick sort your items. Choose the second last of the rows and then you can just press space on uh, PC and it will go up so you can automatically like sell or almost automatically sell all these weapon even so it's lagging you don't have to be that careful when you just hit space bar it's going up anyways and as you can see i'm at 37k and i still have some more weapons so i'm going on to the next vendor or I could buy something, I could craft something, I could dismantle something. These are options right here in Tucson. You can just go on to the next vendor. You go up here and you go to the right and turn right again. There he is. And of course, we are farming weapons and yeah, some trash armor pieces. And we want to sell them to weaponsmiths. And this one has quite a low budget. I totally recommend getting something you need like runes, etc. So you have some form of liquidity indirectly because these guys you have to meditate a lot to get their inventory back I think you have to meditate like maybe five or seven nights let's go to the next smith right here in Bo Beauclair he's just here at the right corner show me your wares guy show me your burials and sell these his money is as well gone so i think we need to go to the place where i spend a lot of my money it's the rune ride also a nice opportunity and as well you could mod like more money into your vendors but that's only possible for pc players and i get the problem of that so back at the upper mill for some sales so this guy has a very strong budget of 45k i love that and he also got some of the glitched swords uh, as you might have noticed the glitch doesn't work anymore in camo hen which is a pity and let's sell these swords again and all these weapons now we're getting to the blue ones which actually cost 560 per piece and you can see it's all about the masses now we can't even auto sale them anymore because it will switch to the armor tab with the selection tool and i think that's it 70k in almost 15 minutes or so maybe 20 that's quite a lot of money i guess and you guys can make that too on level 100 money scales of course that's a problem like if you do this at level 50 you won't be as rich but you don't need that much of the money at that level i guess so you can totally use that farm spot it's so awesome i love it and in combination with it's over 9000 inventory space and also the auto loot mod i think this is perfect and all this flickering i i have this since 4.01 curious if you guys experienced that as well right now so 4.00 was a little bit better for me except for the ray tracing it didn't work and i didn't try it out yet so yeah i'm a little bit scared still i think i need a stronger graphic cards for that all right guys uh, i hope you learned something today and stay subscribed to my channel if you did so 
If you didn't, uh, just tell me what you want to see next time and if you did, then do so. Thank you for tuning in, check in out my other Witcher content, especially the top 3 builds in the Witcher 3 next gen and maybe some like mod videos or other guides. See you in the next one, goodbye. <laughs>